So in the video where I compared the performance in low light condition for the 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max and 11 Pro, uh, many were commenting on the lens flare that the 12 Pro Max was causing. So that's why I'm heading to store that was kind enough to allow me to do some tests just to compare the lens flare. But for the sake of this test, I'm not able to be outside because I just wore the phones inside the store. But yeah, we can see how they compare. Okay, so now we're at the store, so let's try out these um, different phones. And for the sake of this store, I don't want to be on film, so I'm gonna capture everything in a little special way so you can see the results, but not recognize the store. But still, thank you the store for, uh, for letting me do this. Thank you. And here the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And here we have the iPhone 12 Pro. Here we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Here we have the Sony, Sony Xperia 1, 2. And here we have Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Welcome into the office, and by the way, welcome into the new office and the new studio. Uh, what do you think? Please let me know. It's far from done. I will do a studio tour when that is getting closer to finished. And you're gonna see all the setups that I have here. So back to the lens flare comparison. Please just keep in mind that this is no scientific comparison at all. There's no pixel peeping at all. It's just a simple comparison to see that, well, do the lens flare exist on other phones and systems as well? Or is it only the iPhone 12 Pro Max that do have the lens flare issue that so many people have commented on? And what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna bring my A7S III that I'm filming this on right now out and compare on street lights outside while I'm also comparing my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And right now it's 6.40 in the morning so it's still pitch dark outside. And I think we have some good street lights here. Yeah, so this is the A7S III with the 24mm G Master lens. And yeah, we definitely have some lens stories there as well, as expected. And now I'm gonna just bring up my iPhone 12 Pro Max and have that side by side so we can see what's happening. I mean, we can definitely see on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, we can see all three dots from the street lights on the 24G Master, we only see one little... Well, if we continue... Conclusion time. Is this an isolated issue with iPhone 12 Pro Max and iPhones? Or is it more common when it comes to the smartphones? In this video, I think that we can prove that it's more or less a smartphone issue that rather, 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 ra rather than a iPhone issue. And when we compare it to the Sony A7S III with a 24 mm G Master lens, we can see how bad it is. I mean, the Sony with this lens, I think that we could have like a benchmark test to see what it should look like. And we can conclude that smartphones has a long, long way to go to get to the same level. If you haven't already, please head over to my other YouTube video where I compare the low light performance of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, iPhone 12 Pro versus iPhone 11 Pro. And if you don't want to look at the entire video, skip forward to 336 and you will see that these green alien-like lens flares are as visible on the iPhone 12 Pro as well. And yeah, I think that this video shows that this issue is also present at top models from Samsung and Sony as well.
And I think that this is more or less due to the marketing and the expectations from the iPhone 12 Pro Max that it has a bigger sensor, it has better lenses, and you expect better, better pictures. And due to that, it maybe attract more photographers and videographers that maybe hope to be able to incorporate footages from this phone into their work and they were disappointed when they realized the lens flares that they're getting. When it comes to low light without artificial lights, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is fantastic. I mean, the, the noise level is really, really good and you're getting a really clear picture. But as soon as you have any artificial lights of some kind of strength, then you get in these issues. Yeah, and if you like this video so far, please hit the like button and, uh, well, subscribe if you would like to see more of me and more videos like this. I think we're pretty done with the camera comparison videos for the iPhones now, but yeah. Apple, if you see this video, please do something about this lens there, because I'm pretty sure you can. And what I recommend you to do that is watching this video, head over to Apple's website and to their feedback form. I will drop a link so you can just click it and write a good feedback about this lens flare issue. And feel free to drop a link to this video as well, because I think that this should be addressed. And when it comes to the subscribers, thank you so much. Yesterday, we actually managed to reach 100 subscribers on this brand new channel. So thank you so, so much. Thanks a million. And not maybe a million. Thank you. Thank you. 100. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for for subscribing and uh, see you in the next video. That's all from me and from a snowy Sweden.